Hello everybody, I will show you in this video how we can simply use the Excel sheet in order to calculate the net uh, promoter's score easily. This is a very common uh, calculation used in companies in order to, set, to, to find out whether the, the customers are willing to ask people or just uh, recommend people to use their product or service. So I will have several companies like company number one and I will drag this cell horizontally like this so it will give a series company 2 company 3 company 4 5 7 8 so uh, if I want them to go uh, you know I want the cells to be larger I double click on each column between the columns between EF between FG okay so if I double click like this it will make the columns wider and will allow me to see the whole name so uh, now I will just use the calculation this is um, net promoter score NPS it equals to the promoter minus detractor so uh, usually if the score is higher than zero that's a that's an advantage the higher it is the better the lower the worse of course so if it's negative that's a that's a big uh, and a big sign for failure so we need to have a kind of uh, first of all you need to define them as percentage so i will highlight them all and right to click just uh, go for form format cells and select percentage i can go for uh, one uh, decimal place and I click OK. So these are all now in percentages which is more realistic. Now I want simply to, to just order these companies. Instead of having them like this, I can order them. So I can go for sorting and filtering. So I will just, I can sort them easily in here but I want to, you know, a, a score or some kind of uh, advanced uh, filtering. So I'll click on this filter as you can see, if I select that one, I'll find that I'm kind of ordering based on these things, which is not a good idea. I'm going to, uh, you know, I want to order them using the horizontal. So, if, for example, if, if I can tell you this, and the NPS should be my base point for my sorting. So, the smaller NPS I have, the lower the company you know rates is so I, I need to to order the companies in this in this way so it's not based on this so I need to go back to the sorting and filtering and ensure that I'm selecting all these together so that's something really important I need to click on custom sort now if I click on custom sort I will need to select that I need to use option sorting left to right so now I will select the last row which is row 8 for the NPS now the values should be from I can select from larger to smaller by values and here they are Now just remove this filtering, no need for filtering. Now as you can see, um, company 2, 5, 8 and this is the order, the right order. Uh, in a previous movie I showed also how we can simply use conditional uh, formatting. So I can go for, uh, for example, uh, ruling and just use a percentage here and here from 0 up to actually here I can have even minus minus 100 so if it's minus 100 that's a bad sign if it's 100 that's a good sign so I'm kind of I'm kind of uh, selecting this in this way so minus 40 is the bad one and 50 is the best one so you can see this gradient from red to green so um, also I can add something very important which is uh, showing this these data in uh, in a pie so I can select the data I first select the, the pie chart from insert okay now I right click and I select the data in here I need to add these data and click OK. 
So again, click Add. Here I select the name, so I click on the name. This is the company name. Enter. Then I select the series value. I click on this. These are the values. Now here they are. They are appearing in here. You can select instead of these one, two, three, you can edit them into different labels like this. So click OK. Now this is the promoter, the passive and the detractor. All of them are appearing. This is for company number two. Now you can repeat this for all other companies very easily. Hope this video have um, made you happy in, in how you can draw pie charts and how you can simply order companies by their NPS values. Thank you for watching. Hope you can just write your comments below the video and subscribe and like. Bye.